Welcome back! We're in the underwater reactor! Because we're after this guy! Although, my timing was a little bit off, as I would have preferred to, uh, say, I wonder... This would... There's no way this will work. It would be too easy. It worked! OMG. I brought Yuffie along because I was going to use the conformer to easy mode morph this guy. But uh, the reason we're here is actually because we want to turn this enemy into an item. Um, The guidebook. And on that note, I should also point out, before I forget, these guys both have their level 3 limits. So does Tifa, um, and so does Red. I did a little bit of grinding off screen to give everyone their level 3 limits. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate, but at the point of the game I am now, there it isn't really like... I probably wouldn't be able to get to everyone's level 4 if I didn't do a little bit of extra limit grinding right around now. Um... I would rather reach them all naturally, but, I mean, it's not gonna happen. So, oh well, I guess. Uh, on that note, we're done here. So, I'll meet you back at the surface, because it takes a little while to get back out. Uh, see you in a minute. Helicopter! I have money to burn it! Well, that's not strictly true. I haven't actually sold my alls yet, but I will shortly have money to burn! So let's leave... So let's leave Joan in the most extravagant manner possible. It works. Okay. On that note, uh, we still need to visit the Chocobo Sage, and then we can do the Gold Saucer stuff. Uh, well, no, no. I, I'll also have to take a brief detour to visit the, uh, the whatchamacallit, um, the Chocobo Ranch. Because I need to actually feed my greens to the, my Chocobo. Hello! First things first, um, no. Although, look at that price. But no. I'm here to sell two of these. One, two, three, that is 1.4 million? Yeah, 1.4 million. That should be enough money to buy, wait. I remember these having another zero in their price. Huh. I guess I could have afforded most, uh, afforded most of them after all. Go figure. Uh, any, in any case, let's see. I want at least 30 for sure. Um, let's do 40. Because then I can do... Yeah, that barely knocked any money out of my wallet at all. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay then. Works for me. Now, to the ranch! Um, let me think here. Actually, with that kind of money, that can put a big dent in some of the gold saucer bullshit I'm gonna need to do later on as well. Not just the Chocobo Racing, mind you. There are a lot of material you can win at the Gold Saucer, most of which I probably won't get. Um, I haven't really been worrying about them because they're... First of all, they're all the independent material, that is, purple ones, with maybe one or two exceptions. Uh, but second of all... Just not that many of them are actually good. Wait a second. I've done a whoopsie. No, you can stay here, Greeny.
feed. Ten of these to the green one. Uh, wait. Yes. Damn straight. Wait, Intelligence Plus? What the hell is Intelligence in this context? Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. To the Gold Saucer! Let me think, actually. Okay, so... Just a heads up. This is going to be nine Chocobo races in a row. Um, that's that's going to take a little bit while. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to speed it up or just cut it out, but I'm probably not going to be showing most of it. I'm going to definitely show the first one because I want to I want to point out. Oh hey. Okay. Uh. What was it saying? Right, I want to point out the bit where the green chocobo is faster. Although I may have already done so. Hmm. Well, we'll see, I suppose. We shall see. Let's see. Still have my controls written down, which is good, because otherwise I would have totally forgotten it by now. Um, to Chocobo Square. And actually, speaking of those prizes, most of the materia you can win in the Gold Saucer, you win either doing Chocobo Racing or in the Battle Pit. Um, there's one or two in the Wonder Square as well, but, you know, screw those. Uh, not interested. I actually just wanted to check the exchange corner. Uh, okay, apparently I cannot exchange anything unless I've actually won something in the first place. I have a sneaking suspicion that I need to win by booking tickets for most of that material I want. Uh, oh well. Short course, of course. Well, hopefully I get win the Mega Elixir. Incidentally, I'm not sure if I should ever point this out, but I figured out how this works. The assuming you come in first place, you get the ticket. Uh, where you get the ticket that matches up with the first two points. That is, if you look at the numbers, I'm always gonna win, so it's always gonna be the top row because that's where all the ones are. And whoever comes in second determines which part on that row I get. That's how it works. Uh, anyway, uh... Oh no, I don't want to sprint. Okay, yeah, this part right here, we, we're going so much faster on that uphill segment than we would with a different chocobo. Although, just in general, this chocobo should be faster than our previous one. Oh yeah, for sure. And now the part where I need to wait for them to catch up. I've I've read that there's some rubber banding for the chocobos in... Or for your enemy, opponent chocobos in this, but I don't think it's very strong. As evidence here. Um, I know that once you get into the high ranks, occasionally, the, uh, the racer Joe will go against you. Uh, he has a black chocobo, which is actually pretty fast, so he can, you know, keep up with you, even if you have a good chocobo. But other than that, I don't think it's really... Like, quite frankly, if you have a good chocobo like this, they're never gonna win. <laughs> uh, on that note, um... I'm not nearly done the racing, but I am probably done talking for a little while. 
But let's see what we want first. Just a tranquilizer. Yeah, we're gonna cash that in. Ten GP is more wor is worth more than a single tranquilizer. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, let's let's get on with it. And we're back. Briefly. This asshole right here. He has a black chocobo. He might beat me. Uh, yeah. He, he's faster than me and he has more stamina. Uh, and it's a black chocobo. I will probably lose against this chocobo. Which is a shame because I could totally go for that counterattack material. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out. Actually, actually, having said that, we can show this race just to demonstrate me getting my ass kicked. Uh, because it's probably gonna happen. I'm sprinting a lot right now. Normally I wouldn't be, but I need to sprint a lot, otherwise he will pass me. I don't care about the white chocobo up front. It's gonna slow down, and I'm gonna surpass it. But I will not surpass the black chocobo. Because that's just sort of what happens. Or at least I probably won't. Hmm. Wow. Okay, this is actually going poorly for me. Way worse than it usually does. Black Chocobo notwithstanding, because frankly, I expect to lose against it. Uh, okay, so the problem is I need to... Okay, I almost ran... I'm legitimately surprised that I won there! But I almost ran out of stamina, so... Okay, well, it's not counter, but, you know, Megalixir, I'll take it. Uh... On that note, I think I only have... One more race to go. Uh... I'm pretty sure. Yeah, th this should be race 9. I wish it would just tell me. What the hell is Cat's Bell? Well, I guess we'll...
check it out if we win. It. I mean, it, it should go without saying that we're going to win. It's just a matter of what prize we get at the end. But yeah. We are in rank A right now, so the Chocobos are legitimately pretty fast. But generally speaking, uh, with the exception of, the, of that one Chocobo, they will burn themselves out in the first half of the race, and then we will pass them all in the second half. Case and point. Oh wow, that joke was actually way ahead of me. Huh. I may have underestimated it slightly. I mean, these are th these are the hard ones, so. Ah uh, man, I need to actually win this race. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. That was a little bit of a close one, though. I'll admit. We got a full plume. At least it wasn't the potion. I mean, come on, really? Come on. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so that's nine. We did it! Yay! No less GTFO. Now we can go and breed our black chocobo, and it will be great. And it will be great. Although, I gotta say, the material we'll get for it will not be great. <laughs> uh, actually, well, the thing is, I don't think Zeppelin is actually that long because of all of that chocobo racing that is going to be greatly truncated. But having said that, I am about to hit half an hour on, on this recording. I mean, it's not like I'm going to stop off here. I 100% want to show off that black chocobo this time. But at the same time... Hmm. At the same time... <laughs> I kind of just want to stop. <laughs> uh, actually... Actually, you know what? We will breed the Black Chocobo next time. Because this is a really good opportunity to do a small detour we're gonna need to make. Uh, so, on that note... We're gonna stop off here, like I just said. Join me next time, when we complete the Chocobo Breeding! And also maybe do one or two other things. Uh, so until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!